Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of this tutorial. Uh, in previous uh, part we have done uh, these uh, boundaries and pool boundary. So now I'll take some other objects like the pebble area and uh, this boundary. So for taking this boundary, the line uh, I want some around thickness for it. So what I'll do is I'll make an offset in AutoCAD, I'll say O oh, enter and say 0.5 and just say fill it. Now I'll take this pebble area. So I just delete this hash, hatch. And now I'll go to layers, LA. Take one more and say 3D underscore stones or say bushes. Just change this color to green. Let's say current. Say BO on my keyboard. I'll just take this boundary. Make sure you save each and every time whatever new information you are you are adding on this plan. So I'll say save. Just save and I just only want to check this say control s I'm going to 3d max say import and say working if you notice uh, I'm importing directly uh, from my keyboard I'm not going to file and uh, import all the time so I have made a shortcut of the imp import file. Uh, I'll just show you that first. So your workflow will be much more faster than uh, the normal. So if you go to customize and say customize user interface and here is all the options of 3D Max. So if you press I say import file here it is and if you want to assign uh, any key if you want any kind of key I have just assigned the tilt key you can say it's below escape key it's tilt key and it's very handy if you don't want the import you just press escape like that so I'll say assign and just close this dialog box and each and every time if you want import just press the tilt key and import is directly on the screen so uh, we'll take this working file and I'll say open I'll say merge I'll say ok and the bushes area is well placed properly so this is the main benefit of uh, this procedure uh, directly putting the boundary and importing and extruding it so we don't have to uh, positioning each and every time so now I'll again go to AutoCAD I'll unhide all those things just make sure we have taken the boundary and now the exterior boundary again go to layers I'll say 3D it's P O U and D R Y boundary gate. Give the red and say current. Say P O. space bar so 
so if you see uh, this is what we got from the boundary each and every time the inside also the boundary is happening so I don't want that so I'll just say control Z and again say BO if you uncheck this in inline detection so it will say this and it's done so now I'll say layer I don't want all those layers say invert Let's say control s just go to 3d max I say import and it's done so now um, we'll start in 3d max uh, first of all uh, the main thing is we have to take the plane first and the last thing uh, we'll do with work with the exterior boundary so first I'll go to top go to plane I'll say 2.5 snap say endpoint so from this to this point we want a depth in this in the square so the best way to give that depth is I'll just go and select I don't want any segments right now I'll just convert this plane to polygon I'll select the segments say right click say connect connect with 2 edge I can slide it say ok and now this segments say connect just slide right away and this way say ok now I'll go to vertex select the vertex just press S on keyboard to off the snap now this segment so now just select this polygon and you can go to extrude but not in plus it will be in minus so I'll just sit down as a plus so this depth is fine now say okay we can stretch from here also so we want more depth so now I'll just make the windows so this is my pillar I'll go to splines, a rectangle, 
I'll say two points five snap on from here till here and press S again on keyboard to off this say convert it to editable spline go to spline and now I'll go to outline or you can go directly go to the values 0.3 I'll take a rectangle again place this rectangle say point 0.2 make this copy selecting the outer one and go to attach say this and this I'll just press alt Q generally whatever I do in 3d max I'll just make sure it's it's okay or not uh, I'll just cross check so this this is uh, I don't want so I'll just stretch those vertex down slightly overlap the first one now I'll say extrude it say point it's too large and then say point point two now I'll go I'll exit my isolation mode just go and top I'll just place my window So for now this is uh, um, the thing so in next part I will we'll, we'll do more detailing on this so if you liked my lecture do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and thanks for watching my lecture meet you in next part.